Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm going to be the presenter today. And what we're going to do is blade replacement, but we're adding a couple other things to this. We're going to be doing removing and putting on a vortex edge and also cutting down a plane edge to a vortex edge. So the first thing I'm going to do just uh, I want to take off a vortex edge and then later on when I cut down the plane edge, I'm going to put the vortex edge back on. So tools you'll need for this will be glue, that the, either a 50 milliliter and then a cartridge, a propane torch or a heat gun, a utility knife, or then some paper towels, rag, a level, permanent marker, pliers or vice grips, uh, a pitch check or a flat surface so you can repitch the blade, hacksaw or, or a jigsaw, sandpaper, vortex template, a paper template, which you can get from us, which you can cut down for either a sweep or skull, and then you put it on the blade to mark it out to cut your, get down to a vortex edge, and then also tape. So first thing I'm gonna do, which you don't have to, a lot of times you put gloves on, just to keep your hands fairly clean. Grab a chisel. What you want to do is heat up either the, like I said, the torch or heat gun. You want to heat up your vortex edge. And with the torch, you want to be very careful. Keep it moving. Then after you do that, take your chisel, put it underneath the vortex edge. Right up. And then there will be some residual glue, so you want to heat that up. And also, when you, if you're doing a lot of these, you'll want to be in a well-ventilated area. And depending, if you have an old blade that's been painted, you'll want to scrape all the paint off to put a new one on because the glue will be peeling off from the, from the paint. Yeah. And that is removing the vortex. And then to, and now to replace a blade, first you're going to heat up both sides of the cone and the face of the blade. And you want to stay fairly away. You don't want to really scorch it. Keep moving it back and forth. and also the front side. very careful because if you get the blade too hot you can destroy the cone. So it's just take your time. And 
then with with a utility knife, you want to make a couple scores. And then this is where you want to be careful. If you have if, if you heat it up too much, you can cut through the cone. So just keep going back and forth in the same. Then if you don't think it's hot enough, you can always go back and reheat it. I'm gonna be in your way a little bit. And you cut it. Just start frying. That side's good, and the other side not quite so much. So we'll up a little more. Any questions so far? Fill that off. Okay. I want to move it back and forth and slide it right off. And a lot of times you might get some inside here, there's dough and stuff. It might stick onto the shaft. And so then you just heat that up and fry it off. And after you get that done, if it's still warm, take your chisel. And just clean off all the excess food. And then this you want to be careful too, because if you if you have a really sharp chisel, and then if the tip is really warm, you can really gouge it. There. And then from the factory, there is a scratch mark right here. And then that's what we were going to first line up the blade with. And so this is a skinny, so you so you get a blade and then you'll get an insert. And what we want to do is get some super glue. We use Loctite 409, but you can use any super glue. This one's new. Poke a hole. And then you want to do a bead, which I should have done this before I put the, before I took the blade off, so this would have set up. Put some glue on this. Slide that in. Make sure you get the right color one on the right side. Yes. Make sure you get the green on the starboard and the red on the port.
Then I add a little extra glue, so I'm just going to wipe that off. And so this If you were watching yesterday, Bob, the other presenter, he was using the 50 milliliter, which there's still some in, and so I'm going to use that. So just take the old tip off. Put a new one on. So this, what we're going to do is put some more glue right around the cone. Bang it out, and make sure oh, there's nothing yeah. inside. Good point. And one thing before you do that is bang out the tip. Make sure there is glue that got pushed in there, it'll fall out. If you don't do that, and then if the glue falls out, then it'll rattle. So. This, you can be pretty generous with glue. And then with the skinnies, with the inserts, you want to go up fairly high. With the ULs, you don't have to go up as high. And then find where the scratch mark is, and then on the skinny insert, there's a little bit of a line there, so you can just line those up. If not, then, well, you can, there's a few different ways to do it. This is a stencil, so. Slide this on, when you slide it on, kind of spin it around a little bit, just to get the glue moving. Wipe the excess glue off. And then this is where you're going to want the pitch check. With your level, put it on, and then you're going to tweak it just a little bit. Come on, check. This is a little bit of a, kind of a finesse to get it in. A little bit And then after that's done, you just let it sit. And if you have a few of them to go, if you want to do one, let it sit probably about 20 minutes, and then take it off and do it so it's not 
Oh, so you don't bump the blade. I think you can do your other one. Okay, so is there any questions on that? Okay, so now we are going to take a plane edge into a vortex. And so we have these, like I said before, we have these paper templates that we sell. And then you have to line this up for port or starboard. This way. And then this is where you want your tape. We also sell just regular templates. If you do a smoothie, if you have the old style cap to the, if you want the new style. So after that's done, this is where you use your hacksaw skill saw. Which this is going to be loud, so you may want to turn down your speaker.
you have sandpaper or sanding block, you want to sand the edges and also bevel the edge, edge two of the blade. Vortex edge and the vortexes do go in the back, just kind of dry fit it. You may have to do a little more trimming. You don't want to, I don't know if you can see that's a little squishy. It squishes in there, so I, I got to take a little bit more off. Sanding, it should be good. And then, with if it's not set up, take the same glue, put the tip. Right inside the vortex edge. And then you want to do a good bead all the way down it. And then it's good to start one, put it on one corner and then just slide it on. Then give it a push. And here, flex in your teeth. Then you want to put it over the over the over the vortex just to hold it in place for a little bit. And you will have a little bit of glue, just wipe that off. And then if you do have some that squeezes out afterwards, you can take the utility knife, just score it a little bit in the back of the vortex and just move the chisel or the blade, just clean the rest of it off. And there you go. That's taking the vortex off. 
put take a blade off, putting a new one on, and making a plain edge into a smoothie two vortex.